in a church structure, uh, especially if you're a, a white <clears throat> male pastor, which is mm -hmm. three of us are, uh, we really are at the top of almost every cultural power peep, right? Mm -hmm. Our gender um, and our, our position in an organization, right? Yeah, our, right. our skin color. And so um, one of the things that I've learned to do is to be very gentle and cautious mm -hmm. when I am um, moving to challenge somebody yeah. mm -hmm. or to disagree with somebody. Um, n knowing that, that I have an entire amount of force behind me that I'm not intending mm -hmm. that I just carry in my body. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So for instance, Marcus, um, so, so let me use an analogy. Mm -hmm. When my 10 year old girl mm -hmm. loses her biscuit and screams at me, mm -hmm. right? That's wrong. Right. Sure. But, but we know that a 10 year old girl losing her biscuit and screaming at me is less damaging than a 46 year old dad losing his biscuit and screaming at his 10 year old girl. Mm -hmm. Those aren't, those aren't equal. Those aren't equal uh, misdeeds. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, and, and, and we know this intuitively. We know this intuitively. So my mm -hmm. girl yells at me. It doesn't mean I can yell at my girl. Right. <laughs> Right. right? Because it's doing different work. And I, what I'm saying is we know this intuitively in things like age, families, and other systems, but mm -hmm. this is also an operation inside of church family systems mm -hmm. that there's a, I, that I carry a certain uh, power, which gives me a, a positional power, which means I have a greater responsibility yeah. to, to steward that power well and to, um, learn what misuse of that power looks like. 